it has that sound that just kind of makes you smile. It's like what you come to expect out of an instrument like this small. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and I thought I'd share with you the story of my first ukulele. It is a Martin 1933 soprano ukulele made of mahogany. And I'm back here in Hawaii and my grandma took this out of her closet and we went on a trip down memory lane. So I thought I'd break up the story into a few parts starting with the history of Martin and then how it eventually ended up in my family. Martin started making ukuleles in 1915 and by the 20s it was a huge boom. There was a point, for, I think it was in 1922 to 1927, Martin themselves built another section of their factory, added a second floor. It was big business. This particular model came out in 1921. It's called the Style Zero. It was by far their best-selling ukulele. It's made of all mahogany. It's a soprano size, 12 frets. Now apparently a year after they started making ukuleles, the orders were coming in so rapidly that they stopped putting serial numbers on their ukuleles. So the only way that you could really date these Martin ukuleles was by the features, right? By the look of it, by you know where things were placed. And in this case, the logo, it was switched to the front of the ukulele in 1932. And then the frets here, they switched away from this bar style frets to T style frets in 1934. And so that's how I was able to date this ukulele as a 1933 Martin Soprano Ukulele Style Zero. I think it sounds great. <laughs> yeah. That leads me to part two of the story, right? And that's the first owner of this ukulele. His name was John Almeida. If you're familiar with Hawaiian music, you might've heard that name. John Almeida was a very prolific and famous composer. He wrote about 300 Hawaiian songs. When he was living, he was known as the Dean of Hawaiian music. He was a multi-instrumentalist, played ukulele, guitar, he played everything. and. He was a blind musician. It's just amazing to see and hear some of the music that he'd put out. So John Almeida had owned this ukulele for about 20 years, and then my family came into the picture. So my grandma and grandpa had a local mom and pop store. On top of the corner store was John Almeida's music studio, and so my mom and my grandma, they took music lessons. Somewhere along the way, John Almeida offered to sell this ukulele. And so my grandma told me that she bought this ukulele in the 1950s for $25, which as she also told me was a lot of money for that time. <laughs> you know, it's when you look at it, it's amazing because you can see how much it was played, right? Like right up here on the fretboard, it's, that's just where like all your open chords are. He strummed it so much that he took off the top part of the, the ukulele there. Definitely a well used, very much loved instrument. And so then it stayed in my family, right? From the 50s until in the 1970s. Some people broke into my grandma and grandpa's house and they stole a bunch of stuff, including this ukulele. Um, heartbreaking story. Some of the things that they stole had my grandma's contact information on it. A few months later, the police called and they said, hey, we think we have a few of your belongings. My grandma and my mom went to the police station and they started to identify all the things and sure enough, uh, they identified their ukulele. But it wasn't without those thieves leaving their mark on this ukulele. They had engraved their names in the back of this ukulele. And that was heartbreaking for my grandma and mom to see that you know this treasured ukulele of theirs, um, played by a very renowned Hawaiian musician, you know, ha had been defaced, right? Uh, engraved with all these names. They still took it back, you know, it was, their, it was their ukulele. I was introduced to this ukulele. My grandma took it out of her closet when I was about five years old. And it was the first ukulele that I had learned to play on. Like everybody in Hawaii, the first chord you learn is the C chord, you know? And then the first song you learn is surf, right? It's like. Surf by Ka'al Creative Voice. 
Now for me, when I saw this ukulele, I was just fascinated by all these names. I was like, wow, all these people played this ukulele. That's so cool. You know, it didn't occur to me that they were thieves who stole it. I had a lot of memories just kind of playing this ukulele growing up from, you know, about age five to say 15. And it was right around 15 where, you know, I started playing more ukulele with my friends and, you know, in school and all that. So. I wanted to bring this to school, to the beach, to my friends' houses. No, my, my grandma and my mom were like, no, this ukulele stays in the house. They didn't want to risk that happening again. You know, at age 15, I, I ended up getting another ukulele, which, you know, I'll make a story about that another day. So now I'm back here in Hawaii, you know, visiting my family. And sure enough, my grandma takes this ukulele out from her closet, right? And she proceeded to tell me the story. It just kind of brings back that memory of being a kid uh, learning to play ukulele. It's a really old looking <laughs> ukulele, but it has that like sweet smell of, of wood that I can't really describe. Um, this is where I learned to play the uke, you know. It has that sound that just kind of makes you smile. It's like what you come to expect out of an instrument like this small, you know, like. You know, I want to share that story with you guys. Thought it would be fun to, you know, before I leave Hawaii, that I would share the story of kind of being reunited with my first ukulele. This was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of story time. We'll see you guys in the next video. Ha 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 ha.